Um, next story that I had, courts are preying on rappers and their lyrics. In October 2017, Lawrence Montague, a Maryland man incarcerated while awaiting trial for murder and gun-related charges, wrapped a verse containing the following lyrics over a self over a jail phone to a friend. Uh, okay, just for the record, I am not a rapper. Never yeah, rapped in my I, life. Yes, you have. You rapped on this podcast. We rapped liar. on a podcast, but I think if you heard me rap, you know I'm not a rapper. Um, I'll be playing the block, bitch. And if you ever play with me, I'll give you a dream. A couple shots, snitch. It's like hockey pucks. The way I dish out this, it's a 40 when that bitch going hit up shit. <laughs> that Lawrence Montague, that, that's, that's fire, boy. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Indeed. Like a match. Fire like a match. Um <laughs> so he uh he was actually brought up these these lyrics were brought up in his court case. And it sets a really scary precedent. And how do you feel about it? How do you how do you think this this affects hip hop or or artists going forward? It's very interesting, actually. Um Cause on one side I could see how like yo if you're rapping about things you done, right? Mm -hmm. Like, then it's grounds to be used in the court of law. I feel like right, but also we do know that people inflame their lyrics for effect, right? Yep. So like then it becomes like, how do you know this is like true or not? So I feel like there has to be like substantial evidence that literally tie like a crime directly related to the lyrics. If it's just like somebody's imagination of what he wishes he would do with the 40 to a snitch, then like fam, let it bump, but you feel me? But like, if like there's a crime that was committed and the rapper then puts out a lyric like, yeah, I shot my homie in the back, put him in the mat, you know what I mean? Like something like that. And yeah, pull that up. Fam, you said this here. Uh, I don't like it. First off, let's 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 put the accountability where it needs to be. Um, if you are an artist of any kind, rapper, country artist, R and B singer, and you shoot somebody in the face on Tuesday, January third, and then you go into the studio and say, "I shot him in the face." Tuesday, January third, I was wearing white and black and my Jordans. <laughs> okay. You deserve anything that comes to you because you're a fucking idiot. You shouldn't rap about things that you're guilty of. Sensationalize it. Say so you shot him with an Uzi. Say so you shot him with a tank. Say so you Yo. like blew him up with a bomb. Like do some other shit. What did he have on his feet? Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> he had Jordans on his feet. Um, but... I think it's just a really bad precedent. Listen, like there are country artists out there who sing about killing their <clears throat> wives and, you know, throwing their husbands out of windows when they cheat. Like that's that's just what country music is. And is that what country certain, music is? At a certain, yeah, country music is listen to a country song, read some country lyrics. It's wild shit. There's murder, there's betrayal, there's adultery, there's all this shit. I think if you target rappers for rapper lyrics and bring them in court, that is a that is targeting a specific group. Right, so that's you the are thing targeting too, black men. Yeah. If if that's if that's what your precedent is for convicting for convicting black men and putting them in prison where you want them anyway, right? Make it so, universal. If you're going if you're going if you're going to drop this this rule and use lyrics in the court of law, it can't be hip hop lyrics. It has to be all lyrics, so we can hear them country songs. I don't think it should be any lyrics. That. I think if somebody committed if, a crime, your burden is a proof is on the state to prove that they committed that crime. And like create like your creativity can't be held against you. I don't think right. so. Right. That's just me. Right. And there's the only reason certain people's creativity is held against them is if it's not good. That's the only way. If your shit is funny, people don't give a fuck. If you if your thoughts are profound, if your rhymes rhyme the right way, not like this shit. If you got a dope beat behind it, people don't give a fuck. As long as it's fire, we don't right. care. But as right. soon as it's not Literally, fire, I do not care about lyrics either. I know you don't. And then actually we... <laughs> Shady as fuck. If it's, <laughs> if it's um, the only way we break it down and scrutinize it if it's, is if it's trash. If it's fire, we're beating our heads to it. 
um, dancing to it and having a good time. But I don't think you should be able to use lyrics against somebody in court. I do think that targets a specific group. I don't think it's ever going to target anybody other than black men and women. I really don't. It's a fact. And on, th- yeah. and on, on that note, I definitely agree. Leave that shit out of the courthouse. Indeed. And on Indeed. Hot 97. 